Welcome back. It's all set up correctly. So now, the moment that you have all been waiting for, presumably. What the hell? Well, that was something. Let's go again! <laughs> First, let's write the symbol down. We have a second symbol. Yay, us. And looks like there's another book here as well. So that's what those patterns on the rocks were for. They made the symbol when viewed from the correct angle. Very clever. Also, why do I get the feeling that Atrus wasn't terribly concerned about the safety of his sons? <laughs> I mean, really? Between this and relying on the bird not to drop them. <laughs> also, why does this thing only have one seat? Or the thing we were in had only one seat. Or is there an supposed to do this one by one? I guess so. I don't know. Maybe it's another thing Savidro did. Doesn't look like we can push the buttons again. Nor does it look like we can walk back the way we came, so the linking book is, in fact, the only way out. However, um, the symbol being on the uh, cliff wall here kind of reminds me of something. Let's see if I can find it. Ah, there we go. I have desecrated the poem he placed in the columns. Could that be talking about... the symbols? Are those symbols somehow... poems from Narayan? Could be. 
Because this was definitely something on the columns, and we haven't seen anything else that this could apply to so far. And actually, uh, the sap that he's talking about to cover the second one, that would be in uh, Adana, then, the first symbol we found. Which means that the rest of the text is talking about the remaining symbol, the one we haven't found yet, and it appears to have something to do with the metal shavings experiments that we saw in his room on uh, Jananen. Hmm. Interesting. But if this is a poem, what does it say? Or if it was a poem? Probably not a poem any anymore. That's a good question, and one we'll have to leave for later. For now, it is time to leave this age behind, which is kind of a shame, because I quite like this age, as I think do most people, especially because of that ride at the end. It is uh, one of the best rides in the Myst games, up there with the paper cart from, or the wood cart from Riven. And as was the case in Adana, this book seems to lead back to the tower rather than the tusk where we found the book to here. So we will be in the right place once again to use the second symbol. And I presume that Savidra will have another message waiting for us. Of course, there's only one way to find out whether or not he has. This what you expected, Atris? When you follow me here, hoping to reclaim relation? This classroom, what you expected to find. I read your journal, you know, in Tamana. After I found your linking book abandoned outside this observatory, I read all about the Dunning. How you started their world again. Can you really do that, Atris? After everything that's happened to Narayan? Could you start their world over again? I don't think so. I think there's too much blood on our hands, too many ghosts. Surely you can't change that with a pen stroke. One more simple, Atris. Narayan is waiting. Again, we see that Savidro misunderstands what Atrus wrote in his journal, because he isn't, in fact, restarting Dunny by writing. He was restarting it by finding survivors and hard work. So, even if that argument that Savidro just made wasn't true, then it just would still not be able to restart Narayan that way, simply because that is not actually possible. What is interesting is that Savidro, almost by accident, stated the exact reason why Atris decided not to rebuild Dunny, but instead write Relishan. Because he felt that the evil that transpired in Dunny's past was not something that could be washed away easily and that it would be easier for them to begin again without all of that baggage and take only the things that were good from the old Dunny. Which I'm sure was also the reason why Rinaref originally uh, decided to part ways with the Rone 
and go to Dunny instead to begin with 10,000 years ago. Not terribly relevant, but kind of an interesting parallel. Let's take a look. We have one viewer left. And it's this one. So I wonder what kind of age lies behind that door. I also wonder if, like Idana, Amateria was supposed to represent one of the concepts. Several of concepts were mentioned in the book. The first one was energy powers future motion. I suppose that could be it. The nature one we already used, of course, for Donna. Dynamic forces spur change. Could be it as well, I suppose. This is kind of a vague one anyway, so it's kind of hard to determine what age it would... what kind of age it would apply to. So I guess it could be either the energy one or the dynamic forces one. Perhaps um, the third age will help. We do actually have a fourth one as well. Balanced systems stimulate civilizations. But we haven't seen any ages with civilizations on them yet, and it is actually quite simple to um, deduce what this refers to then, if this is all part of the lesson plan of Jananin, as Atris himself said. Balance system stimulate civilizations, that has to refer to Narayan, the first, civiliz uh, first inhabited age with a civilization that Sirius Nakanar would visit. So, we have to divide energy and dynamic forces amongst these two ages. So, we'll see if this one makes it clearer which is which. Um, let's see, I want to go down the base, because I think it was easier to reach the... The elevator was really quick, by the way. I don't think that goes that quick when you're in it. Um, because I think reaching that door is easiest if we go down first. Also, it's something I haven't done in a while, so it's kind of a nice change of pace. We've used all of the clues that were here. And we've used the spheres on Amateria and their relative weights. We've seen the tongue vine on Adana, which is where the pillow comes from, although I guess this is a smaller version. Maybe one that's not yet fully grown. We've seen the bigger cousin of this plant. And this, well, we haven't actually seen this yet. We've seen it in the journal. It had something to do with the last um, poem that he was trying to desecrate. So it presumably has something to do with the symbol we're going to find in this last age. And how he disturbed that, or changed that. Whether or not this is actually a hint for a puzzle, I don't know. More balls. The hammer was not a hint. It's just for hammering things. And the other balance... ...is also... Um, 
part of... Uh, that's where it is. The... It's also a part of Amateria, so I think we've used all of the clues that Savita left behind. I guess that means we won't need any clues from here for... The remaining age. So that's where we're going now. Oh, we have still have squee chirps and other sounds here. Which were of course for a previous puzzle. We haven't actually been up here yet. I mean we passed it on the way to the entrance of the tower before, but I didn't actually go here. Let's see, there's the door. This is the first time we can just reach the door without any problems. But of course, it's locked. Didn't think it was going to be that easy. These seem to be buttons. And that seems to accomplish nothing. I guess this thing has something to do with it. But what is that? I have no idea. I can't even begin to guess. Unless it's a laser cannon and it's trying to shoot the tower from here. But that seems unlikely. We have actually seen something like this somewhere else on the island before. Or at least we passed it. Or something near the sea we saw when we first arrived. There it is, see? That looks very similar. But what it's for, we can't really tell from here either. Let's see, there's more here. Oh, there's another one of those things on top of this platform in the sea. And a wheel. Well, let's see what happens. Looks like we can rotate this thing. Didn't accomplish much. But it seems we can do it again. So let's do it until something happens. Or until we've gone full circle. Hey. Looks like it's open on one side. Aha! We're catching the light of the sun. Which is being uh, redirected, probably by some mirrors that are inside here, through that thing. Which shines it onto here. Which then redirects it. Glare. Um, that way. Towards one of those telescopes we saw before. Let's see. Oh, and we can see the telescope is redirecting the light as well. It's going left towards... Towards what? Towards the top of the broken post. Well, I speculated before that this might have rusted away or something due to age, but considering all we've seen so far, I'm betting this is... Savidro's handiwork again. It seems like we need to find another way to redirect the light. I assume that it needs to end over there somewhere. And now I'm blind. That was not a good idea. Well, let's see if we can find um, a different way to bounce the light to its final destination in the next video.